Hello, welcome to the video on publicly traded partnerships. In this video we'll walk through how to enter a publicly traded partnership and show where to see the calculations. To do this, we will create a new partnership entity and add a second activity to an existing K1. To begin, go to Income, down to Partnership Pass Through, and select General. If multiple entities already exist, we will be prompted to select the entity. To create the new partnership, select Create Entity. To indicate this partnership as publicly traded, drop down the Partnership Code box. Select Code T, and then enter the partnership information. Next, we will demonstrate how to mark a specific activity as a PTP. Navigate to the K1 and select the Activity section. To add a new activity, click the Add button in the upper right corner. In line 13, PTP, select the checkbox to indicate the activity is a publicly traded partnership. In line 13, PTP, select the checkbox to indicate the activity is a publicly traded partnership. Once the information is entered, calculate the return. To see the calculations, go to Government Forms. Drop down Worksheets. And select Publicly Traded Partnership Worksheet. Since we entered two PTPs, they both display on this window to select from. This worksheet shows the net income or loss, any prior year unallowed loss, and the total allowed or disallowed loss for this tax year. To view additional worksheets, go to Next, and select Next Sheet. Any income or allowed portion of the loss will flow to the Schedule E page 2. These K1s are identified with the letters PTP next to the line item. If any portion of the PTP was disallowed it will carry over to the next year's return. Here we can see the disallowed losses that will carry over to the next year. Thank you for watching this video on publicly traded partnerships.